Hey, what's up everybody? Chad here and Godzilla fights Superman in this story and I kind of want to know what y'all think about the end of this because it's kind of crazy. So first when we start up, uh, we essentially got Flash and Hal Jordan Green Lantern. And what they're doing is they're looking at the monitors in the watchtower and they're watching Superman doing all these things, right? Because Superman, he's just out there. He's out there in the world pushing himself to the limit, like putting out fires on oil rigs, stopping these missiles, doing all these different things, just just saving as many people as he can, right? You know, he's going around stopping uh, bank robberies, all these different things. And eventually he comes up, uh, comes to Titano, right? It's this huge, this huge gorilla, this huge robot gorilla. And you know, he's taking this guy down, right? And when the, when the Justice League go to try and help him, he's already apprehended this guy before they even get there. Before Barry Allen even gets there, he's already taking this guy down and he's getting ready to take him off the Striker Island, right? So when they're going off the Striker Island, you know, they're taking Titano, Flash is sitting with him, right? And they're talking about the fact that Superman, you know, he wants to marry Lois Lane, right? Like, you know, he's got a ring. Uh, he's, he's getting ready to, you know, pop the question to, the, to say. And uh, what's going on is, uh, Green Lantern and Barry Allen, they're essentially, they're not trying to coax him out of it, they're not trying to convince him not to do it, what they're what they're asking him is, like, do you want to stop doing all this, do you want to stop pushing yourself and being the best hero you can be to, you know, be married, you know, stuff like that, right, like, it's not really a, you know, don't do it kind of thing, it's more of a, you know, think before you do it kind of thing, you know, and so it'll, it'll just put that mind into his head, it's, it's a rhetorical question, right, while they're doing all that, we switch to the Legion of Doom, and these guys are causing problems right now not immediate threats but they're about to cause a big problem right so you know you have all the you have the legion of doom you know you got toy man you got grod captain cole you know all these different people cheetah black manta and what they're doing is they're they're essentially waiting for lex luther right they're waiting for lex luther and what lex luther says is he's got a plan right like titano like lex luther sent that guy out there as a distraction right so what they're going to do is they have this huge plan that they that they have where they're really gonna need to go into the Fortress of Solitude to accomplish, right? So, he sent Titano out there, and what uh, all of the Legion of Doom are doing is, they're breaking into the Fortress of Solitude, right? You know, you, they're, they're going through shutting off the defense system and all that different stuff, and they're going in there for two things, right? They're going in there for the mother box that uh, Superman has in there and Orion's sled, right? But there's a third item in here, which is going to cause a massive, you know, a massive problem, right? So Toy Man, he's in there and what he's looking at is, it's this red stone, right? The dream stone, right? And when, what the dream stone does is, it, it it basically just grants your wishes. That That's pretty much what it is. It alters reality to, you know, for whatever your wish, for whatever uh, whatever your wish is. That's, that's pretty much just what it does. Uh, and while they're doing that, you know, they, they tell Superman, you know, don't worry about it, okay? Like, we, we got this, right? Because Superman, he's talking to Batman right now, right? And what Batman is doing is, you know, he's trying to talk to him about, you know, getting married and stuff like that. They tell Superman that, you know, take the night off, right? Like, you've been pushing yourself. You've been doing all these different things, trying to make sure the planet's safe. I'll be the Superman here, okay? I'll be the big, tough Kryptonian that the that the Justice League needs tonight, right? So they go, and they, uh, after alerting, the, after setting off the alerts in the, uh, the Fortress of Solitude, the Justice League show up, right? And what the Justice League do is, they're taking these guys out. Right? Like they're fighting as hard as they can, and eventually they set off the mother box, right? So when the mother bo uh, the mother box goes off, it sends the the Legion of Doom. It sends it sends all those guys away, right? So the Justice League they're just like sitting there, like what what happened to these guys? Those guys got sent to Skull Island, and we know that because as soon as one of these creatures shows up, Kong comes down, right? And Kong, you know, he really he literally just rips this dude's head off, right? Like just rips this this huge creature's head off. So the the Legion of Doom they take off, right? Like they go and find you know somewhere safe to be. You know they're looking at all these different things. They have like the they have like the screens where all the monsters are um, you know showing like what the monsters are doing and stuff like that you know you got Godzilla so while they're doing that you know they're in there they're trying to figure out where they are right because they're not home anymore right they, they went to a completely different universe uh Grodd is outside and he's talking to Kong right he's using his telepathic powers you know like just just talking to Kong because he sees him as an ape god so it's like <laughs> it's kind of funny he's just talking to him and uh Toy Man with the dreamstone that he took he wishes that all of these monsters was in the main universe. He wants these monsters to go back and deal with the Justice League for them. And this is where we get Superman going face to face with Godzilla, right? So Superman, uh, at this point, he was getting ready to propose to Lois Lane, but Godzilla showed up and he's pretty much just like causing a mess, you know, stuff like that. Superman, you know, he shows up and, you know, he's he's talking to Godzilla. And what he's saying is, you know, I don't know if you can, if I can understand you or if you can be reasoned with, but you're causing a problem with the city, right? And Godzilla, he just lights up, right? Like he's about to give him the meanest atomic blast ever, right? But Superman, he stops him, you know, he just goes in and punches him, right? But uh, Godzilla, he whips his tail, sends Superman flying through like eight buildings, right? 
so uh what superman does is he he essentially tasks flash with you know going through and uh getting all of the people out of the way you know rescuing civilians you know stuff like that and what the rest of the justice league are doing with this like with the monsters uh all the different monster versus monsters you know the mammoth the 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 huge bat the spider you know they're all in different places you know gotham the mascara you know places like that central city uh they're all they're, they're, they're just all like splitting up to try and take these guys down right so batman he goes to gotham right and they have this huge monster verse bat that they're trying to take out right like he's like batman you know the bat family plus cyborg and and uh uh black canary you know they're all just you know trying to take this guy down right and they're looking for weaknesses right because there's no apparent weakness to this guy he has like sonic powers you know he's like uh destroying the city you know stuff like that and Jason Todd, you know, he's getting ready to actually, you know, blow this guy to smithereens, right? Like he has, you know, he has a shot, you know, he has a sniper rifle. He's lining up a shot, right? And what they're telling him to do is don't shoot. Because if you shoot and you miss or he doesn't die from, from you shooting him, whatever whatever you're planning on doing, he's going to come after y'all. Like he's going to come straight down to the ground. Like let me keep him up in the sky. That's what Batman says. Let me keep him up here so he's not, you know, distracted with what's going on down there. I can keep, you know, I can keep people safe until we have a plan on how to defeat this guy, right? So Jason Todd being the the rebel that he is he takes the shot and as soon as that happens like th it doesn't kill this monster but it, he literally just turns and just uses his sonic powers and just starts destroying the city so they end up having to knock jason todd out because he's not listening okay he's just all uh, he, he's trying to do his own thing you know, he's not trying to take orders he's not trying to you know listen to what everyone else is saying he's just out there sorry so they ended up like taking him out and they get uh they fashion a plan to actually try and use this uh this monster's powers against him and not in the sense of they're gonna like read a like deflect his deflect his sonic beams at him but more in the sense of since black canary is there they can make an amplifier and actually use a more powerful sonic scream than the bat can right hoping that it'll like overpower him so batman you know he's just off and you know he's a, he's just being a distraction and what they're doing is they're making the cyborg is there and he's essentially trying to make a an amplifier for black canary's powers right and when they finish making it batman he lures the bat down and they just use all this force and take this guy out right like this dude is done okay gotham is saved sort of because like you know he did do some damage but you know it, it's saved right like they don't have to worry about any more damage so we go back to godzilla and superman right so superman you know he's is i mean it's hot girl is there too i guess but it's more like you know just superman versus godzilla because you know she just gets punched one time and she's like and she's just down for the count until shazam shows up so it's essentially shazam and superman against godzilla right and they're like doing they're not doing too bad eventually they get into like a a beam struggle if you know uh, the old dragon ball z games you know they're they're breaking their sticks you know they're 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 spinning the the sticks on the on the controllers and they're in a beam struggle right and shazam he actually like gets on the top of of godzilla's head and you know he calls down his lightning right it turns him back into a kid you know he calls down his lightning distracts him enough for superman to quote unquote overpower him but uh superman you know he has to go and save billy batson because you know he just went back to his kid form and what that does is it leaves him vulnerable to a shot from godzilla and it takes him down he just blasts superman with all this atomic energy and just takes him out right like he's down for the count so we're gonna end this story here if you are new to the channel subscribe leave a like if you enjoyed this story i'm loving it okay like I, i'm a so i'm a huge godzilla fan i watched the old movies i haven't seen like none of the newer ones i watched the ones where he was like you know jumping around doing all this like weird and crazy stuff so i've been like i i love godzilla but but yeah like superman is not able to hang so it's it's kind of <laughs> It's kind of crazy, but it is satis it satisfies me, okay? Because I love Godzilla. But uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one.